Welcome to yet another episode of Nerds with Badges. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, September the 3rd. Um, my my, my uh, work schedule just changed, so I'm just trying to get used to the to my new days working and my new days off. I tell you, um, I actually had Monday off. And it just kind of threw me off because usually I'm off on Saturdays and Sundays. But anyway, um, so hmm, I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm about to start my shift. So I'm just going to take a few minutes to do a quick video because I feel compelled to do the video because I got a shock today. I went out to lunch. I guess you could say a, like dinner. 4.30 is dinner, I guess. Um, I, I met up with a friend in the Grove. At Cheesecake Factory for Brenner, Benner, Leonard. Anyway, so I had this like uh, Cajun Cajun salmon. It was so good. I wish I'd taken pictures and posted. I I thought about it after I after I had already finished eating everything. They gave me a lot though for like thirty bucks. I ended up taking like half of it home. I own and I ate half of it. It's a lot actually. And then we had like a. Uh, kind of cheesecake it was it was some chocolate mousse cheesecake um my friend wanted me to try so i after we finished i took the bus home third and uh third and um i just get off at third in vermont so the grove is like right on third street so it's just a straight shot down to third and new hampshire where i live at so i on the bus you know and i just i just took my phone out and i connected the internet i Used to ride the bus a lot. Lately, I've been riding the, riding Uber and, and Lyft, and I got to stop that because it's freaking expensive. But, you know, I've had so many crazy adventures riding buses now because anybody can ride the bus now, apparently. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of strangeness on the bus, on the buses and uh, public public transportation now. So I've been, I've gotten kind of spoiled taking Uber and Lyft because I don't drive. So I'm on the bus, and I decided to just, you know, surf the web. So I go to IGN, you know, take my phone forever. I got to get my new phone. So anyway, I go to IGN and I, you know, and the first thing that pops up is like Sony shutting down, um, Concord. And I'm like, what? So <laughs> now I bought Concord. I'm probably like one of maybe five people on the planet. I shouldn't say that. It's probably more than that. I mean, see this game came out, this Concord game, basically it's like playing Overwatch to me. And I, I have already picked one character I like. I, you know, I, I try to pick the black character, you know, because I, still, you know, so I picked the black guy, you know, and he can triple jump, which is really cool. So that's great. Can't take a lot of damage, but he can also heal. So it's more of a support character, I guess. And I try to like, you know, when I play, I try to like stick with groups of people so I can heal and be support for people. I don't know. I mean, I was playing the other day and somebody just ran over and like snatched my cards when I so I don't know people teamwork you know there's no I and us or we how does it you know so anyway so anyway I was reading the article and I saw it and I was like my god so this game took eight years for Sony to make and they put it out and it's been like review bombed and I think a lot of people just kind of like smell you know like sharks smell blood in the water everybody jumps on it and I think probably half the people that are like trash in the game probably haven't played it it's just like playing it's like playing overwatch to me it's, it's you know i don't think the characters i think the characters could be more interesting in their design it's not a bad game it's just eight years in the making i don't know i, I still find it hard to believe it took that long for them to put out a hero shooter like that i mean it's it's high quality i guess i mean it's it's not bad but you know a lot of hero shooters nowadays are just free to play so they should have gone that route I guess because they spent so much time and money on the game, they had to charge. Um, but I don't know. There's microtransactions, too. So I don't know. The, the whole $40 thing is just, I don't know. They shouldn't have gone that route. Sony was a little greedy. I think that was the problem. Sony's kind of, kind of you know, made some real weird decisions. I think, what, what else was it? Uh, was it that game that came out? Helldivers 2 came out early earlier this year, I think earlier this year or late last year and the game came out and they like decided to make it where you couldn't play any anywhere if you didn't have a 
a PlayStation account or something. It was something weird, and then and it was like a bunch of a bunch of like territories would have not had access to the game after they've been playing it for a while. So it was like so much backlash. Sony just they they backtracked on that, you know. And then there was a time when they were going to shut down. They, you know, it was this is years ago. They were going to shut down the stores for PlayStation, I believe, PlayStation Four, I think it was, or PlayStation Three and the Vita or something. And it was backlash, and they backtracked on that. So, you know, not, Sony's not the only company that weird, makes weird decisions. I mean, I don't even want to get started on what Microsoft. I don't know what the hell they're doing now, but. Um, yeah, so this whole um, Concord, I I actually like playing the game. I think it's fun. I mean, it's it's this is like, you know, it's not like uh, incredible, mind blowing, you know, awesome. I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, it's 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 a it's a cool game. Um, maybe the game was overhyped, and when it came out, it just didn't deliver. And a lot of people are just anytime. And I mean, and I hate this. I I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I'm just something that you know it's, it's it's getting on my nerves that the internet, you know, whenever there's something that features people of color, you know, then the the anti woke mob, you know, comes out and just us accusing it of being woke. I mean, there's a there's a wide variety of characters in the game, and um, there are you know there's I think there's like three. Three black characters, it's, you know. And then there's one character that's like, like really like um, big, big boned. I guess I don't want to say you, can't, you don't say fat. You say overweight character. It's maybe a character who's racially ambiguous. So I don't know. People just like to throw that word around, and it's never black people that are saying this. Okay, because we, you know, we used to use the word woke differently. And sometimes when something becomes all of a sudden somebody hears it. And it becomes like mainstream, and then it's being used out of context. People used to say, you know, be, you know, stay woke, brother. Stay woke, my brother. And that's just basically saying just stay, you know, just stay alert on everything that's going around. So I don't know. So I think somebody white heard somebody say that, and they just kind of took it. Because now I'm hearing in commercials, like, and I know we all, we all take from different cultures. Sometimes we're all influenced by things. But sometimes it's just, it's, it's kind of annoying. Because now I'm hearing a commercial where somebody says, I put that on everything, you know, and that's something that black people used to say, but now it's, you know, suddenly it's being, it's become mainstream. Um, so people say, go woke, go broke. And it's like, it's only, it's primarily like white people are saying this. And just because you put somebody in something that's not, you know, that's not white, it doesn't mean that you, there's some secret agenda, you know, sometimes it's just, you just have characters that are, that are not white. I mean, you know, when you walk outside, sometimes you see white people walking down the street. Sometimes you see black people. Sometimes you just see everybody. So if I make a game, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably feature a black character because that's what I relate to more. Um, you know, I'm just saying it's just something that I didn't really see a lot when I was growing up. And I definitely feel like, you know, that kids that are coming up, the next generation i think that this is something that is important because you know i mean i'm going i feel like i'm going off on a tangent because you know you got you know you got the iconic characters in, in comic books you got superman wonder woman and batman you know the dc and then in the marvel you got the avengers and all the avengers you know they for the longest they were all white <laughs> all the x-men pretty much except for storm and there's a few there's some other black characters in there but um you know it's primarily Storm that people talk about. People try to push Bishop and Sink. You know, suddenly Sink is getting a lot of uh, publicity. But, you know, it's a, it's, it's a problem when you just have, you just, all the mutants can't be white. You have to mix things up. Um, but every time you see somebody put out something that doesn't feature white characters as the main characters, you just, just stop saying go woke, go broke when it, just doesn't you know it's not successful because it's not always about that and it just just stop it so um and it's just gotten it's, it's like a mimi now but but people will use that i think people abuse that phrase go woke go broke and i'm just i'm tired of it it's just over it's just just stop seeing it but some people like to see stuff fail and it's just it's just so much negativity man when i look at the content creator stuff on youtube and i see 
some of the I see some of the thumbnails and, and the headlines that people put in their videos. Sometimes it's not even really what the video is about. And sometimes they'll just put stuff to just get people's attention. But a lot of people are happy that this game is trap is, is is just not just um now people can come together collectively and save a game. I know they're trying to save Acolyte for another season. I watched it. I thought it was I thought it was just okay. Yeah, it had problems. Yeah, I, I admit it, it had problems. It was nice seeing, you know, seeing a, a you know a black woman, you know, you know, using the force and you know, um, but um, I think the show it has some problems. Definitely has some problems. And sometimes when shows come out, they may not be good the first season. You know, they they, they get better as time goes on. But sometimes shows need time to just kind of cook, you know, before they kind of find their footing. And nowadays, it's just like if something comes out. I guess it's because people, maybe because they, people have ADD or something, a um, attention deficit or whatever. The, um, something isn't like perfect, then it gets trashed, and then it's like everybody just jumps on it. But I don't know. Sometimes people just jump on something because it's trending and they want to get the clicks. And I feel like it's just been blown out of proportion. So the game, going back to Concord, you know, um, I think it was just okay. It was just an okay game. Probably should have been free to play. Uh, 40 bucks, mm, yeah, probably not a good idea. I bought it because I really wanted to, you know, I've been trying to play. I wanted some more exclusives, uh, Sony um, exclusives to play. Sony's been kind of, seems like they've been kind of slow with exclusives this generation. I don't know if it's just me, but um, they've kind of slowed down. And I think that this, you know, this is another conversation with these games taking so long to develop with the technology now and the games are taking like five, six years. It's like, you know, Blade, for example, was, you know, it was announced for PlayStation. I'm sorry, not for the PlayStation, but for the Xbox. We'll probably end up on the, on the PlayStation at some point because nothing seems to really be um, exclusive anymore because, you know, developers like money apparently. Uh, but Blade was announced, I think, I think they announced it in 2020. No, it was, might have been 2022 it was announced. It was like teased, really. That game probably won't, we probably won't see that game until 2026 at the earliest. Um, maybe 2027. Now, Wolverine for the PlayStation, that game has been announced. We've seen like a little trailer. I know stuff has been leaked. But that game, that game probably won't be 20 till 2027, 2028, maybe. And these games are taking so long and costing the company so much money. And I think that uh, companies need to, f to they need to to uh, reevaluate how they're making these games because you don't have to spend a hundred million dollars on a game. You just don't. Um, so, yeah. Then I, I guess that maybe one of the reasons why we're seeing so many remasters and remakes. It just that's just my theory. But man, yeah, I'm just I'm really kind of bummed out because I don't know. I know when Cyberpunk came out, Cyberpunk was just had a lot of problems, and they Sony pulled it off of their PlayStation Store for like six months. I encountered some bugs. I recently encountered a, a game-breaking bug in Alone in the Dark on my Xbox, and they had to give me a refund because I got to a point in the game where I literally could not progress. So Cyberpunk had a lot of problems, and they pulled it. You know, if that was overreacting, because they eventually patched the game, but you know, I guess to keep more people from buying the game and then to stop them from having to get more refunds. So apparently, Concord is going to be taken offline on the sixth, and everybody that bought the game will get their money back. And I, I hope they bring it back. I know there was there's been some disasters in games. I think Avengers was another one had a lot of problems. Avengers actually had a really cool story mode. I didn't really try any of the other any of the other modes, but you know I think the story mode was well done, and I love the Black Panther stuff. I like the Hawkeye stuff, and I felt like the Spider Man thing was just the Spider Man. They should put more thought into that. That's the Spider Man was just it just felt like it was just tacked on at the last minute. Uh, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. That's another disaster. I played it. It should have been a should have been a single player game. It should have been like more of a single player game. Then they could have had like the other stuff as like add on or something. I think. Uh, so I think that 
it's, it seems to me like companies are realizing that these uh, hero shooters, you know, um, maybe not might not be such a good investment. There is a Marvel game coming out pretty soon. I think it's coming out in October. I can't remember from. I don't want to. Don't quote me on that. But it's like a hero shooter type game, and there's some cool characters in there. Um, and this is apparently going to be multi-platform. Probably not on the Switch. Maybe on the Switch too when that comes out next year. But um, yeah, I, I I enjoyed playing Concord, man. I really did. I'm not even gonna lie. I actually thought it was pretty cool, and it's shocking to me. Um, <laughs> they're just taking the game. It's just gonna disappear. I guess like Overwatch One, which just doesn't exist anymore. Even though I bought a disc, the disc is like I guess it's a it's a what do you call it a coaster now or paperweight because they just completely got rid of Overwatch One and replaced it with Overwatch Two. So yeah, who just fuck it that bought <laughs> the disc? You know, but you know I can't sell it anywhere. I mean, it's I'm not a collector's item or anything. I just it's just plastic that I can't do anything. So, yeah, I'm just, man, I feel like I'm, I need a moment of silence. I really did like the game. I, I just, I think that they could fix it. Maybe they'll bring it back. I, I would hope so. I hope they bring it back. Maybe make some changes. It wasn't a bad game, and I think people overreacted and got it canceled. It's definitely not the worst game I've ever played. I mean, I've played some really bad games over the years. I've been playing video games since I was probably... I think I'm 55 now. I've probably been playing video games since I was at least 14, maybe 13. Might be going, might, that might be a reach. But I remember going to the arcade when I was a youngin. And there's some games that I wish that they would bring, they would, they would bring back. I guess I could go online and probably find them somewhere because <laughs> I've, I've gotten into emulating. Emulation a lot. There's a lot of like classic games uh, that are not available anymore. So like where you can't get them, it's through emulating. Uh, that's uh, that's another conversation, I guess. I'm gonna take the last few minutes I have before I go on my shift and watch some of this. I just got a DVD, Blu-ray player. I'm gonna ch check it out, make sure it works. Cause it's like um, what was years ago. I'm a big Matrix person, so uh, it's really really be nice if we got a, a really we got a, a good Matrix game. It's so strange, man. I, th I tell you, back in the day, I know there would have been a Matrix game. Actually, there was a couple of Matrix games. I'm not talking about it. There's Path of Neo, and then there was the Enter the Matrix game. But uh, they haven't really made another one. I don't know why. They did a, a demo Matrix game a few years ago that came out. It was just a demo, just showing off what Unreal Engine could do. But I don't know. You would think, I mean, Deadpool came out. Now, back in the back in the day, there would have been a Deadpool game, but there was not anything. And uh, I feel like the people that are making the video games, man, I don't think they really, I don't know if they really are games because, man, it's just some things that really don't make sense. Uh, so I don't know, this has been a really strange generation for games. You know, a lot of weird things have happened in the last four years. Microsoft went in another direction, you know, and bought Activision, and now they're trying to be like super multi-platform, I guess. And people are wondering if they're going to even have another console. I guess they will, but they're really putting their games, but they really want to put their games like everywhere, which is really convenient. But it does make you wonder. Uh, I mean, I guess for those of us that have bought the hardware, you know, you wonder where things are going. I, I just think they need to just put out a handheld and you know they could have a big uh, box as well. But I think a handheld would be really great for Microsoft. I think they need to jump on that. So anyway, it's 9.39, and I have this stuff I shift at 10 o'clock, so I'm going to try to like try out this DVD player, the Blu-ray player that I bought from Amazon. And it was supposed to be a Sylvania Blu-ray DVD player, and it's some pro scan. I, I don't even know if I've ever heard of this company, so... I don't know. I, I hope it's fine. Some of the reviews I read were, you know, they, people were having some issues, but most of, most of the reviews were good. So I'll see. But yeah, I'm still trying to, like, I'm in, I guess I'm going to be in mourning for Concord, and I'm going to 
play some more matches until they kill the game. I guess on Fridays the six. But man, what a shock! I don't think I've ever known a company to put a game out of an Overwatch that just you know the game just doesn't exist anymore. It's just gone. They put all this money into this game, eight years, and they put the game out. And people trash the game so badly that they take it offline. It's not a bad game, and I just I don't think it's fair. I mean, the game had problems, but uh, I don't think that they marketed it well either. But yeah, it's just it's, people just overreacted. It was it was not a bad game. I just I just and I I don't know. Maybe they just should have just made it made it free to play and gave everybody their money back. It wasn't just taking the game away people that probably put time into it but anyway yeah well rest in peace concord i guess it was nice to know you while i knew you and i'm gonna get out of here that is today today's episode this week's episode (laughs) this month's episode hope not of nerds nerds with badges my platform where i as a nerd with a badge security guard discuss things nerd culture related. Until next time, uh, take care and I will see you.